All right, you guys, we've all had crazy shit happen to us. And today I wanted to tell you about one of my crazy stories that happened to me where I picked up a flat tire and a hooker, which both I did not want. Uh, I'll give you a little background before I tell you how I picked up a flat tire and a prostitute all at the same time. Um, I grew up in Ohio, but I've lived in Tampa, Dallas, uh, Albuquerque, and also Phoenix. So when this happened, I was 22 in Ohio. This was back before cell phones. This was around 2002, 2003. And I was on my way up to visit one of my buddies who played baseball in Kent, which is up uh, in Akron, Ohio, if you've never been. And I was coming from Ohio University. So I grew up on a 400 acre farm, really didn't have much experience with the city life at all. So it kind of gives you a little background of how I was so naive and how this uh, situation really came about. So. What happened? Let's get in the G here and I'll go ahead and tell you the story. Good old G. So if I remember correctly, what happened was I was in my 240SX and my fuel pump went out. And when the fuel pump goes out, it's not under the back seats. Like it, here, like it is here in the G, it's actually back in the trunk. So after my fuel pump went out, um, I'd had the jack out for some reason and never put the jack back in the car. What an idiot. So when I was on my way up to uh, visit my buddy up in Kent, I had no jack in the car and I completely forgot that I'd taken the jack out when I was working on the fuel pump. All right, so I was on a highway just like this and I was driving down at about 70, 80. And if you have a, a high profile tire, when you get a flat, the whole car will sweat. When you have a low profile, you get a flat, the car doesn't, it's very stable. So as soon as I hit a flat, it, I could feel it come unstable right away. And this is in my 240SX. This is back when you didn't have, this was 2002, they didn't have cell phones and I didn't have tire pressure monitoring systems. So when I actually blew the flat, um, the, there's no system telling me how to flat tire, I knew right away. And there's no one for me to call to you know let them know i have a flat like triple a so unless you're super rich and you have one of those big stupid cell phones um the, you know the, the cords all hanging out and in the cigarette lighter um this was before everybody had cell phones so i went ahead found the nearest exit and i pulled over so like i said i found the nearest exit and as soon as I pulled over, and it was a neighborhood, uh, as soon as you got off the exit ramp, it was a neighborhood just like this. So I got out of my vehicle and I waved down a truck. It looked just like this. And I said, oh, trucks, they usually have jacks. So I wave him down. He's like, yeah, yeah, I got a jack. I can help you out. And he's like, hey, this is a pretty bad part of the neighborhood. You should lock yourself in your car and I'll be right back. I was like, oh, oh really? As soon as I said that, I went to go to get in my car, open my door, and from the bushes, two thugs come racing at me. And they grab me by my shirt just like this and start yelling, where's my money for drugs? I really thought I was about to get shanked. I was scared shitless. I was like, I don't got your money for drugs. And that guy yelled, hey. And as he yelled, hey, it made those two guys look away. And I heard up, got in, forwarded it on my flat tire, gave it gas, and I just peeled out and I was gone. I was like, fuck. I limp it right over here to this gas station. And in Akron, Ohio, the gas station is so bad there's actually, I thought a police officer was here. So I was like, yes, I'm gonna tell him exactly what just happened to me. Nope, nope, it's not a police officer. Believe it or not, it's a security guard. So I walk in to the gas station, I tell the security guard what just happened. It's 8.30. He goes, my shift's over at nine, bud. Um, I really can't help you. He, he didn't seem like it was a big deal at all. So I look around the gas station and I'm like, shit. So this woman sees me in a frantic. So I, she comes over and she says, what's, what's, the, what's the matter? I go, what? I blew a flat tire. I about got stabbed back there and they tried to rob my car. All I need is a jack. If you could get me a jack, I could jack up my car and I'll be on my way. So she gets out, she goes around and she, she starts asking everybody at the gas station, see if anyone has a jack, if anyone's able to actually help me out. So this guy, he has a jack. And he go ahead, I go ahead and I said, oh man, thank you so much for having a jack, awesome. So I went ahead and started jacking up my car, put on my tire like it was NASCAR, in and out. And I was like, 
uh, what do you want in return? He goes, hey, if you just give me a cup of coffee and a donut, I'll be more than happy. So I went in, got him a cup of coffee and a donut. And, and the older woman that helped me find the jack, I asked her, I go, well, what do you want? She goes, hey, could you just give me a ride home? I go, oh, yeah, I can definitely give you a ride home. So she jumps right on in. Uh, we start going down the road, you know. I was like, hey, well, I really appreciate you getting me out of that jam there. Because um, this is, you know, we didn't have cell phones. Uh, you really helped me out. She's like, oh, no problem, dear. Uh, she's like an older lady in a flannel. So she's like, all right, where do I take you to? She's like, all right, go ahead, take me down here. And then she goes, hold on, take her right down here. And I was like, okay. I mean, we're just leaving the gas station. It looks something like this. So as we go down through here, all of a sudden she starts rubbing my leg. And I look over, I mean, I'm in my... I'm in my 20s and she's at least 40 something, cracked out, uh, flannel on, not boner material whatsoever. Not that I would ever do that. Um, so she, as she started rubbing my leg, I, I was like, no, no, I'm all good. I have a girlfriend. And she, she's like, well, it's only, you know, $10 for a blowjob and, you know, 25. I was like, oh my God, I just realized, holy shit, I just picked up a prostitute. I had no idea. So I, I was like, well, so you really don't want to ride home then, do, do you? She goes, well, I mean, it's not going to be free. I go, well, can I, can I just take you back to the gas station? And, and she was like, and you could see the tears start to come up in her eye because she'd been rejected. And I'm like, here, I'll just give you some money. No, we don't have to do the sexual deeds at all. And um, you can just, I appreciate the help. So that's what I did. I went ahead and handed her the cash and dropped her back off at the gas station. And that was my story of uh, how I got a flat tire and how I picked up the prostitute all in the same instance.